I'm so sorry. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel guys today I just want to talk about my experience as a new mother or a second time mother but with a new experience guys when did I get the breast milk after a c-section guys it comes different I was in the hospital and some of my new mother some of my mother like my partners like let me say my fellow new mothers, they had no receipt. For me, I received the breast milk after two days. Yeah. So what I did, I did breastfeeding frequently, frequently, frequently. I used to force my baby to keep on breastfeeding, keep on breastfeeding. So the more you keep the baby on the breast touch, she keeps on picking up the situation. Oh, you understand what I'm talking about? She keeps on picking up the situation and the, it sends uh it will send a message to the brain and the breast milk will be produced if you if you keep on keeping your baby on breast on breast on breast each and every time so guys what i did in two to three days definitely let me say probably two or three days i had the breast milk but it took me just not in the first two days the baby could breastfeed i even started getting wounds around the nipples Mama. things were not easy guys hmm? things were not easy at all so i could remember i had c-section you only have to breastfeed the baby let me get her so breastfeeding you know you cannot breastfeed a newborn baby while sleeping so you have to sit up imagine sitting up with a c-section let me get this baby let me pick her up i think she needs to be picked up she cries and sleeps again you understand sitting up the pain hmm? uh, i had a can run over my body because they could change it they put here you can see this one this was a camera while when i was in hospital so sitting up hmm, getting up myself and sit up to breastfeed the baby it was a tug of war of course sitting up it was kind of okay but turning to the sides that was the hardest part like changing like this you could feel that pain at the what at the fusion yeah you could feel the pain at the fusion and be like, oh my God, what am I going to do? Am I going to die? And I could see, I had to see it. Yeah, I had to see it and breastfeed the baby. Remember, I have no breast milk. And she was sucking too much. And I could feel a lot of pain while trying to breastfeed the baby. So guys, after three days, I have the leg of the breast milk. Okay, she wants to breastfeed. <laughs> Sorry, 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 sorry. So guys, let's talk about the experience when I'm just doing the breastfeeding all over here. Okay, I'm doing the breastfeeding. Uh -huh. So guys, you always have to find something which is very easy for you to breastfeed your baby. Oh, I'm the less so sorry. Okay, so as you can see, we are doing the breastfeeding. Sorry, sorry, mommy. You know, sometimes when I'm breastfeeding this baby, I feel pain. I don't know why I experience this pain whenever I'm doing the breastfeeding. But... So you understand, guys. Yeah? And then I have the breast milk. And now when I'm breastfeeding, I can see it. 
because when you're having a c-section you always have to make sure that you're strong than anything you understand you have to be stronger than anything you have to walk uh you have to you're not supposed to do heavy things lifting or to work too much but you have to be strong and make sure that you stand apply to walk to avoid the blood clot uh uh to first in the healing of the wound so you always have to make sure that you're stronger than ever before i know it's very painful and this is my second time getting a c-section and I know the experience at first it was a full Anastasia c-section process but this time around it was a halfway Anastasia section process but it I preferred the first one because the first one I didn't hear anything but this one my dear I had each and everything it was very hard you know the meaning like you don't feel the pain you don't feel the pain but you hear each and everything they are doing cut this side go to this layer now you have to, ah, they remove the baby like this they had the shaking when they are moving the baby I was like after that they had to uh, to collect all the blood outside I started shaking I wanted water wanted to ask for water imagine asking for water in that process do you know that you can die so i started feeling like i wanted to take water well, hey. things were not easy i started getting dizzy very dizzy so now we are almost going to make three weeks we're just still counting down not yet we are still very little but surprisingly but breastfeeding alhamdulillah now we are breastfeeding very well very very well but all right so i'm going to show you something after she finishes breastfeeding there's something i want to show you mothers that this is always a must to avoid the baby to vomit whenever you don't do it you know whenever she vomits you feel like ah will i be able to manage it i feel like she may die so always to avoid that make sure that whenever you breastfeed you do the bumping keep your baby here even though you have scissor perhaps no she's done you see you have to do this but make sure that you do the support and you hold this the baby This is a must to avoid the gastric. Oh, 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 oh. seen my beautiful baby have you seen my beautiful baby Ada, Ada, Ada. Mm. oh someone wants to cry eh shame upon you what do you want to do ah, see see the camera show the camera how you look like when you're crying yeah. Okay, guys, see you in the next video. Yeah.